Bad plays games. This is so fun. I love Satisfactory Plus. All right, now what we want is actually crop plot. Sorry, farming plot mark one is what we want here. Okay, and boy, that's not even, but I'm gonna be okay with that uh, just for, you know, for right now. Because on top of this, we need a crop plot. And then in this crop plot, we're going to be able to set a recipe once we unlock them in the MAM, which is what we needed 200 of these for. We're halfway there. Now to go back and look at the power slugs tier, we need slug hatching open, which we need 100 jars of dirt. And I know I just put, yeah, we're making way more in that one than we need, so. Let's take from there, let's take from here, and then let's unlock this one, the hug sl slug hatching. All right, and now we need slug breeding. I'm gonna need to go and get some screws and we're gonna need 250 of, what is that, wheat, I think. So I'm gonna run back to the base and get the screws that we're going to need and all the other components we might need while we're out here, hopefully. <laughs> I don't wanna keep running back and forth. But also going to grab the blue, I can't remember what it's called, the blue slug slime that I've collected. When you pick up the slugs in this game, if I haven't shown it before, I can't recall if I have, but you don't get a slug or an egg, you get like this goo. And then we're gonna turn that goo into eggs, and then we're gonna put the eggs into the hatchery, and we're gonna hatch the eggs. And then we're gonna put some of the hatched slugs into the breeder again, until that's in a, a saturated loop, because they do have a lifespan inside the breeder. And then we'll take all the excess, and we're gonna use that for Nexus. We got the screws, and now we need the wheat. So let's collect that dirt, and Collect all of these seeds. Right, okay, now with those seeds, we can go back to the MAM and unlock the fix-it farming we needed. Which is this one. That's right, plot modules. So now we can get irrigation, greenhouse, and harvester module. But I don't think we need that right now. I can't remember, honestly. So let's just play with it. Hook our plot up, platform up to power. There, now we've got seeds. And now we can turn this into wheat for that unlock. So once we get that unlock, we'll be able to, no wait, let's look at food, snail food. Granny snail food, we need wheat and carrots. Okay, we can make another plot now, and we're gonna make this one into carrots. And... I think just so they don't back up, we'll take, we'll make potatoes and corn as well. Because we have seeds for all of those. Perfect. Now, if I recall correctly, we do need that harvester we're gonna need this harvester module. Uh, if otherwise, otherwise you can't automatically output that the materials. So let's do that. Two thousand glass. No problem. We surely have a ton of that. Oh man, this is so exciting. We're on the cusp of phase three of uh, the phases I'm making up as we go. Phase one was the early game stuff, phase two is when we switched to Molten, and already now when we get into the Nexus, we're getting into phase three. I'm guessing arbitrarily, phase four will be something like ore washing, and then phase five will be the final space elevator parts. Who knows though. And this is gonna take a while, so I think instead of just sitting around here, we'll go back and do some more work in the base. Collecting up all these parts is really satisfying. <laughs> Uh, there's items I usually so star for, especially the last playthrough. I rushed too fast, and boy did I learn my lesson. Not only is this easier, it's way more fun to play how we're playing right now. We haven't talked about the pillars of play in a long time, several episodes at least. So I think I'll touch base on it right now. We're basically playing Satisfactory Plus 
with the requirement that we fully automate things and get stockpiles of things before we move on. And it's been going very, very well. Now, you might say I'm rushing up by this episode. That's true. I'm kind of um, ignoring that because I've got my eyes fixated on Nexus right now. Let's grab all of our fruits and vegetables. Vegetables and tubers, roots and... I don't know. I'm not a plant expert. I like food though. You know what, I'm gonna make this one wheat as well, so we double the speed of that. And I think this is the last one, right? I think I needed 200. Be sitting around and doing nothing. If we can unlock something that we can work on. Oh, <laughs> no, it's 250. Oh, this was 200. All right, we actually need all of them, so. We need both of those unlocks, so it's gonna be a little while. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take advantage of this composter we don't need for a while. Uh, we're gonna need the low energy slime slug, which is what you get when you put slugs into the composter. But we don't need that yet. What we need is to build some of these modules. This one in particular. Okay, now that we put those modules on, we get all of our output right here, which is really cool. Just gonna trash that biomass, but we will turn it into biomass later or sink it something I don't know all right next we're gonna need a cooking hub the cooking hub is going to take the food and turn it into snail food so 20 wheat and 20 carrots is gonna make us 60 grainy snail food per minute we need to get these biomass capsules out of the way so we're gonna do that with a smart splitter all right, and splitter, smart splitter. Forward is going to be any undefined. To the left is going to be uh, biomass capsule. And then we're gonna make a, oh, excellent. Oh, 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 good. We have all the modules unlocked, which means we don't need these ones. We need the breeder, but then we're not gonna need any of this stuff. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. We need a awesome storage sink. There. It's working flawlessly. Now we've got granny snail food, which is what comes out here. out here. The grainy snail food is going to go into a breeder, which is something we don't have yet. I actually need that wheat first. I need 250 wheat before I turn it into this grainy food. And waiting on, nope, not waiting on anything anymore. Let's do it. Power slugs. Start the research. So now we've got slug terrariums. All right, I think we are set, done, ready to go. So with grainy snail food, we're gonna put it into, into what? Into a slug terrarium. Oh my gosh, I love these models so much. They're so cool. Okay, so this is where we're going to run grainy food into. But we need two slugs. That's fine. We need a slug hatchery. And we can't afford it. Such is life. I don't really want to run back. No, that takes forever. Oh, don't tell anybody that I handcrafted something. Okay. Alright. We need an egg. How do I get an egg? I don't remember, honestly. I think I need that slime. Nope, I think it's crafted again, honestly. Yep, here we go. I need alien proteins and blue slime DNA. So, I'm going hunting. Here we go. Just need to find 11 blue slugs. So there's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Alright, and now that we're back here, I can craft these into eggs, right? I need all this stuff back to turn into proteins. And then, yeah, egg. Oh, I need more protein. Oh dear. I thought I had plenty sitting here. Alright, so we just need to kill some unsuspecting hogs. Mmm, delicious forbidden fruit. I'm just kidding. Of course, there's a slug right there I missed. So I need the proteins. And then the eggs. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I need 20 more. Okay. I'm not even going to count that down. I'm just going to go get them. Okay. That was irritating. Two eggs. <laughs> uh, missing incubator or tears too low or missing egg. Okay, let's give it some eggs. It's missing incubator or tears too low. What does that mean? Oh yeah, incubator module. Okay. Oh, oh, we're doing it. Okay, let's get a smart splitter out. And this smart splitter is going to be pretty cray. We're going to take a belt from there to... Oh, this is so, uh, so terribly built. <laughs> okay. Input there. The center output is going to be blue slugs. The left output is going to be overflow. And the right output is going to be any undefined. So if we accidentally get any yellow slugs in there, it'll be okay. Send the slugs back in there. Let's get a container. Overflow, and then another container for, hopefully we'll get our yellow slugs this way. Okay, what do you mean there's no grainy food? This must be the output. Yeah, there we go. I love this so much. I can't wait to give it a proper place in the base once we can teleport this dirt over there using Nexus. All right, and now this is gonna, yep, send our eggs this way. And so you can see this, the way this works is that it uses 0.6 per minute and it makes 1.5. There, and now we've got the slugs coming in. Perfect. This is just going to take some time to saturate and then we'll be swimming in slugs. See, so and then down here you can see we're going to get six blue slugs per minute. Rather, we're going to get six slugs per minute. We have a half of a percent chance to get a yellow one and a quarter of a percent chance to get a white slug. Oh, that's right. There are way more color slugs in Satisfactory Plus than there are in base game Satisfactory. Oh, I did forget one thing, though. And that is that... I want to split the... I want to split it right here. And then one will go forward and one will go into that one to make sure we're filling both spots. Because this is what's get filled with the left input and this is the one that gets filled with the right input. I am pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But based on how I had it plugged in just the left slot, they were only going here. That's surely why. Oh, look at that! We got a yellow one already! Oh! Look at that! Awesome! So look at the system works. I think... Yeah, I think I'm comfortable leaving this. Well, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and make sure that I was correct on this. Yes, no, it's working. Okay, I feel comfortable leaving this. We'll come back in a short while 
and this should have um, ex it'll explode in production and wait a minute or do we need to add more hatchers oh that's right as you get more in the stack they make more eggs so we might even want more of these yeah because look this is only consuming six eggs per minute and this is already making uh, ten and a half per minute let's observe it just a little bit longer I just look at this it's so so cool and then we need an incubator module and a splitter and then a merger on this one and then merge it to there Okay, now I'm just gonna wait for a minute and let that saturate to see how high these numbers get. I can't remember. I am so happy. Oh, I love this. Bring back such great memories. In fact, the last time I was messing with these things is when I did that verse goulash bit with the cooking in the middle. And I swear, if I didn't have so much fun making satisfactory videos, I would probably try to make food videos because it's, it was a lot of fun. It's backing up now, which means Five inside is the maximum, which means 7.5 per minute is what we get. So it's 15 eggs per minute. So we're going to be able to run two and a half of these fully. I don't want to run two and a half, so we're just going to run two for right now. Especially because we're going to start getting some... Uh, once these back up, we're going to get overflow which means we are on the cusp of getting the blue slugs that we need. And what do we need the blue slugs for again? Is this something we need way more of? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot. All right, let's figure out how many we're going to get here. So we're using six per minute, we're using three per mi minute on this one, three per minute on this one. This is making six per minute. Uh, it's using six eggs per minute to make six slugs per minute. And this is making six slugs per minute, which means we have, we're going to have, as soon as this fills up, which is just about to do, we're going to have six per minute filling this, which is enough to make 15 quantum cables per minute. Should be getting our first overflows any second here. Maybe those two. Come on, I wanna see the first. I want to see the first slugs that we get to turn into cable. Ah! Perfect. Okay, and actually, let's do that. Let's make an assembler right here. And we're going to take that power and here, quantum cable. Give it 90. Awesome. Let's let this work and we'll come back for the quantum cable in a little bit. All right, so to get the fax item receiver and sender, you need drives and quantum cables and quantum cable adapters, which uses quantum cables, I think. It's hard because I can't see. Yeah, quantum cables to make the adapters. Perfect. That is excellent. So drive mark one. How many drives did we need? I think we needed five. We need five for that one, so we need 10 drives. Oh boy, I'm starting to remember why this is crazy. So five drives, or excuse me, 10 drives is a thousand of these um, stabilized quantum crystals and a ton of smart plating. All right, quantum cable adapters. How many of these do we need again? Why do I insist on deleting the man when I need it all the time? We need 200 of those. So I'm going to go collect up some quick wire for that and some more stabilized quantum crystals. Popped over to our little farm to check it out and check it out. We have two yellow slugs and a white one. Now that we have two yellow slugs, that means we can go into breeding yellow slugs and I don't need to go and collect a bajillion of those little capsules. And I never got to white ones last time, I don't think, so interested to get into that at some point. 
Although right now, since we need, we've got Nexus on the brain. I have eyes for nothing but Nexus. Bad. 